I am on the mic stand. In two minutes, a sophomore by credit hours will butcher the opening monologue to Ferris Bueller's Day Off. It will be the longest five minutes of my life. In ten minutes, Kyle Rowe will sing a gaudy rendition of Stacy's mom, and I will transduce his voice. It is forty years ago. My father, a phonograph, shows me how to convert compression waves into electrical signals. He says CCF will come for me and asks me how I feel. I tell him I'm scared. He says, hi scared, I'm dad. I short circuit and cringe. It is four years ago. Richard Harper's warm spittle coats my surface, the warm embrace of a loving superior. He's doing a skit. There's mayonnaise. I short circuit and cringe for the second time in my life. Now from the stage, I watch Neil throw cookies to first timers. Most of them catch them with their face. The room roars, and I am recruited to do my sworn duty. Yet as the evening drifts away, I too am left solitarily at my post. I am tired of this earth, these people. I am tired of bearing witness to karaoke performances that sound like someone pressed shuffle on the universe. Though I cannot abandon my post. For some days, the music reverberates pleasantly. The words ring true. So I will remain steadfast upon my perch. I will serve until I join the ranks of my father. And even when the lights go dark and current ceases running through my coils, and the mouths of man close, I will remain open.